Hi, I'm Stu Chaffetz, and I'm an investigator for showing animals respect and kindness. Shark has initiated a campaign to shut down can hunting clubs that are violating state stay-at-home executive orders, and it has been an astounding success as we've already shut down 12 canned hunting clubs in five different states. These include major shooting events involving tens of thousands of cage-raised victims, pigeons, ducks, and pheasants, and we're working on shutting down even more. Now, we've found local and state authorities to be very responsive in the interest of public health. There is, however, one shocking exception, Sheriff David L. Henkrat of Tehama County, California. On April 20th, we wrote to Sheriff Henkrat to alert him that a hunting club called Red Bank Outfitters was violating California Governor Newsom's executive orders closing non-essential businesses. The evidence we had came from Red Bank itself, where they wrote in an email, quote, Yes, we are open and doing all of our hunting. It should have been an open and shut case, and the sheriff should have ordered the club to close, but that is not what happened. Instead, this is what Sheriff Hankrat wrote back to us. At this time, my office is not looking into or enforcing the state directive. At the time this video was being worked on, more than 1.1 million people have been infected and nearly 65,000 people have died from it. This tragic death toll includes many nurses, doctors, and police officers, including sheriff deputies from other counties in California. Tehama County has also been touched with the disease, having its first confirmed case on April 1st, just under three weeks before Henkrat told us he was not looking into or enforcing the state stay-at-home order. It is highly probable that there are many more infected in the county, meaning Henkrat's irresponsible actions may very well cause more people to become infected and die. Stay-at-home orders are in place to save lives. None of us like it. But we do it because even if we don't get sick, we could still pass the virus on and we don't want to be the cause of someone else's death. We are all sacrificing something so that we lose as few lives as possible. When Sheriff Hankrat says he's not enforcing these orders, what he's really saying is he doesn't care that more people may die because of his foolish and shameful inaction. As we began to look into Sheriff Henkrat, we found a number of disturbing things, such as his department's abject failure to stop a crazed killer from slaughtering five people. We posted a link to a damning article from the Sacramento Bee about Henkrat's failure titled, Nobody Had to Die. Neighbors say Tehama Sheriff ignored Year of Terror Before Shootings. We also found a video where the Under Sheriff of Tehama County, Phil Johnston, spoke on behalf of Sheriff Henkrat at an anti-Agenda 21 meeting. Agenda 21 is a decades-old non-binding resolution from the United Nations about sustainability. It was signed on to by the first President George Bush, but now the far right has turned it into a crazed anti-environmentalist attack that has been referred to as being a, quote, satanic Jewish conspiracy. Agenda 21 is really a comprehensive plan of extreme environmentalism. It is social engineering and global political control. My sheriff knows that these meetings are very important. He had a prior engagement. So he called me and he said, these meetings are important. I want to be represented. He said, go up there and do your thing. If only Sheriff Hankrat had taken the threat represented by this murderer as seriously as he did a right-wing conspiracy about a UN resolution, then perhaps five lives could have been saved. And on top of all this, of course, Sheriff Hankrat is really banned on animal issues. Here's Shark President Steve Hindy to explain. Uh, we went to him about the Red Bluff Rodeo, where there was lots of horses being shocked. That's a violation of California state law. First of all, we couldn't even get a response, and finally when we did, he wouldn't do a thing. So I'm not a bit surprised about this guy. Whether it's supporting and defending animal cruelty, or ignoring executive orders that could save human lives, or doing basic law enforcement to protect people from a crazed killer. 
Hencraft has proven that he has failed his job, and he should resign.